Hi class, welcome back to CIS 121 Online Teaching and Learning. Um, the purpose of this video is to tell you or give you some information about doing our web page design project. Now a couple things I want to say about this before we get started. Um, it, you're going to be making a set of web pages from scratch. So this is going to be a lot more work than homework 5 and homework 6 were. Also counts for 10% of your final grade. So um, an important idea about this is you should get to work on it early. And if you have questions, feel free to email me. Um, it's going to be, as I said, a little bit more work than your other than your other homeworks. And you're doing it all yourself. So I'm not going to be like the other homeworks describing step by step how to do things. You should have now learned the skills for doing the things necessary to, to finish the project. Okay. It's going to be similar in a sense to your homework 6 in that it's going to be a hierarchy of pages. But note, instead of having only three pages, in this case we're going to have five pages. Um, introduction page which links to two subtopic pages. And subtopic 1 page is going to have a link to two other subtopics of that subtopic page. Um, I, and um, important thing about that, one thing to add to each of those um, subtopic 1A and 1B pages are links to external web pages. Um, a little bit further down in the document describing what you need to do is going to be um, what you need to put on each one of those pages. Every page, that means all five of those should have a picture, text with formatting, and also a very nice design. It should be readable and look nice. Okay, The introduction page, which is that very top page over here, has links to the two subtopic pages, along with information about um, your, your set of web pages. Um, the main topic pages, that's these two, subtopic 1 and subtopic 2, should have, again, information about those subtopics and links back to the introduction page. So these two arrows going back. And finally, your subtopic 1A and 1B pages should, again, have information about that particular subtopic and links back to the subtopic one page. And an extra um, requirement for those two pages is a link, link to an external website concerning that subtopic. So it has these two backlinks here and also links to the external web page. Okay, That's minimum for each one of these pages. If you want to enter more information, it's OK. Um, the second page of the handout has a little example of how I might set up a set of web pages. And I've actually created those web pages, and I'll show you those in a minute. And then there's some extra credit. Um, you can add a video to a page or a sound to a page. And those are easy points for you. We did that in, in um, Homework 5. So if you just add some, a little something, you get a lot of points, extra points. Okay, so let's take a look at my set of pages. I'm going to go over to show, show you the folder. Now, important things about this, the folder has, um, has all the things which are associated with the, with the web pages. They need to be in the same pay, place because we're going to refer, be referencing those different HTML pages and pictures and videos and CSS. And if they aren't in the same folder, they won't be found. Okay. And notice my five web HTML pages here, my main page, my two subtopic pages, and my two sub-subtopic pages. So you should see five HTML pages in your folder. Also, CSS is a requirement. So you should have a CSS file. Every one of those HTML pages should reference that, so they should have the same formatting on each page. And then I have a bunch of images, and I also did my extra credit. I have a video here also. So let's take a look at my main page and just see how those links work. So here's my main page, and you notice I have two subtopics. One is freshwater fish, and that's my subtopic one. So notice not only do I have some description about freshwater fish here, an image on every page, I also have links to my subtopic 1A and 1B pages. So if I go to live bearing fish, it's got some examples of live bearing fish nicely designed. It's got the CSS background, the same as the others. 
And it's also got a couple of other things in there. Um, one is a requirement, which is a link to an external page. And notice this is a video, but it's not a video that I've downloaded. So this isn't for extra credit. This is the link to the external page. Like it goes to a YouTube video. So if I click on that, it pulls up the YouTube video. It's got an ad on it, unfortunately. But when I skip that ad, it gives me a, a video which talks a little bit about how to take care of guppies because that's one of my examples of a live bearing fish. Okay. Um, and I have a couple other examples there. And of course, this backlink is going to go back to my freshwater fish page. So those were the live bearing fish. I have a similar subtopic 1B for egg laying fish. So if I click on that, it takes me to the site for egg laying fish. Once again, it's got images and information about three different types of fish. And also I have an external link caring for and breeding angelfish. So that's got information of another external page. And I can click the back link and go back to my page. Once again, I'm using a little arrow key to always go back. That's going to go back to my freshwater subtopic page. One subtopic one. I can go back to my main page and then go to my subtopic two. And the subtopic two page doesn't need to have further subtopics under it. It's a kind of a ending page. Um, again, I have descriptions of some fish in there. And I have a link to an external web page. Okay. That one actually isn't required. Okay. Just those very bottom subtopic 1A and 1B need it, the external web page, but you can add extra to any of your pages. And it's also got my extra credit video. And notice this is an embedded video on the page. It's not a YouTube page. Okay. This is how you get, this is how you would get the extra credit for having a video. Like the cat video from Homework 5. Okay. And it's got a little example of some fish in the wild, marine fish, because this is my marine fish page. And if I click back, I go back to my main page. So one more time, just to show the linking, my freshwater fish page is subtopic 1, has subtopic 1A, and I can go back, and subtopic 1B, and I can go back, and my main page has subtopic 2, saltwater fish. So hopefully that was that was descriptive enough. I'm back to my main page again. Descriptive enough about what you need to do for this homework. Again, stressing. Start early. There's a lot more work to do in this and you're also starting from scratch. So it's pretty much you looking at the handout about how to do HTML and maybe the PowerPoint associated with that and maybe some of the earlier videos from Homework 5 and Homework 6 about how to do things and creating all of your pages in Notepad++. Okay. Uh, I've been very happy with Homework 5 and Homework 6 which people have been handing in. Um, good job for those and for those of you who are having trouble or haven't handed in homework yet, please contact me. I want to see everybody successful in this in this class. Have a great day and keep in touch.